On today's episode of What's Going On with Shipping, the container ship YM Witness comes into the port of Kosaseli, Turkey a little too fast and takes out four of the ship-to-shore cranes as it makes its docking. Hi, I'm your host, Sal Mercogliano. Welcome to today's episode. So this story has gotten a lot of hits across social media on Twitter and a few other sources, and I had a lot of people ask me to comment about it. So I thought I'd give you a quick little breakdown on what we know about the vessel. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. So a couple of news stories I will reference over to you. So this one first, container ship overturns four cranes at Ave Port. Uh, I believe that's the port itself, but it's in the port of Koseli in Turkey. Uh, this is from Focus C TV. They did it. They're estimating about $50 million worth of damage. I should note that there was a crane operator in one of the cranes that was seriously injured. So we're still waiting on word about their condition. And then I'll be referencing this story over at Maritime Executive. YM container ship Yang Min container ship takes out cranes while docking in Turkey. So this is the Yang Min witness coming in. And you can see it's coming in at a pretty steep angle to the dock and obviously at a much higher speed. Now, one of the things kind of hard to see in the video, but she did splash her port anchor. Her starboard anchor is already down, and we're going to see a couple other views here. But you'll see she's coming in at a very steep angle. Uh, she's trying, it's hard to tell here from the wash, but she may be trying to back down. You can see here wash coming out. Her bow thrusters are up forward here, so we don't see her bow thrusters being fired. There's a tug on the stern. And then there's a tug trying to get a line on the front. These are the container cranes coming down. So you actually have the containers actually crashing down on top of the structure as she comes in. Uh, she's going to hit up against the pier. And then these ship-to-shore cranes, the SDSs that they're known, begin to collapse and come down. I'm going to look at this one at a different angle. This is from the shore side, or excuse me, from across the dock. So there's a slipway here coming in. So here you see YM Witness coming in. You'll notice right here kind of a whitish line. That is the anchor. So uh, anchors when you drop them are dropped in shots, 90 foot shots and 27 meters. And what you do is you mark your shot where the detachable link is and then you paint uh, the, the shots on either side. So this is, there's quite a bit of chain let out here. I can't quite tell. You'll see it a little better, but that's the white markings around the shot. So they had let the starboard anchor go earlier and they were trying obviously to take hold and you'll notice it is at an angle. So it is trying to grab. Go ahead and let it roll here. Lower the uh, background audio here a little bit. So you see there's the bow catching the second of the cranes from the right, starts pushing it. It's going to push it into the other crane. Now these are two different styles of ship to shore cranes here, but you'll notice them collapse. It doesn't take much to knock them off. And what you're going to see here is kind of almost a domino effect on the cranes. The, the cranes begin to tip. The bow continues forward to the right here, tips over the very far end crane. We don't know which crane the person who was severely injured in was in. Uh, it's not unusual to have the container operators up in the crane at the time because they're going to get ready to move cargo quick. This view seems to be from that tug that we saw on the forward area. You'll notice right here you can see the anchor chain out. There's the marker right there for the detachable link and then the paint. So maybe about five, six shots out of anchor chain. So they dropped their chain. Uh, not unusual to have a crew standing by at the anchor to drop it in case for some reason you can't slow down or come in. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. Watch this play out here. This is the hit against that last crane. Uh, the other ones have, the, the one has already toppled. Here comes down the beam crashing on top. Some containers actually come loose off the vessel, the YM Witness, and actually will fall into the water here. And so you have a little bit of a kind of multiple action here taking place with the collapse of the cranes and the ship coming in. See the one tug there, and you never get a quite view of the tug in the back. But notice it doesn't appear that the thrusters were being used at all on the bow. She has two bow thrusters up there. So there's a couple of still images from the port that they posted on X. 
So you can see you can see the vessel is actually off the dock. It is not up against it. They haven't moved it yet because that beam from one of the cranes is lodged on it. Uh, here you can get the image of the containers in the water. You can see them right here where they came down. Both anchors are down, the port and the starboard anchor. Tugs are in place to hold the vessel. And then this is the track line the vessel had. It came a very short distance. It was in a holding anchorage uh, just off of Istanbul inside uh, the Bosphorus. Uh, this is the strait between Europe and Asia and sailed over to the port of Koseli. And I'm going to go ahead and show this to you in a little bit of detail. I'm going to fast forward to when the ship is coming in. So a busy area to come in. Uh, the ship is uh, slow steaming right now off the port, uh, probably picking up a pilot. So the ship will have a pilot on board. Now, pilots provide assistance to the masters in navigating through waters and also during docking maneuvers. But a pilot does not relinquish the ship's master, the commanding officer of a ship, from their duties and responsibilities just because the pilot is on board. So this is ship coming into the area here, and you'll see where the dock is up here. Ship's coming in at 16 knots. So again, I, I'm not familiar. I haven't been into this port, but uh, this is a big ship. I mean, again, we're talking about a ship 14,000 TEU, over 1,200 feet in length, 368 meters, 145,000 tons. So big vessel, it's got a good clip of speed on coming in at 16 knots. It's gonna make its turn and start coming in to the approach to the port. And it starts to slow down here. It's down to about 12 knots and you see it's starting to come down. Out are coming the tugs at this point. All right, I'm just gonna say, this is a really fast approach. Uh, you're coming in at 11 knots and, and you've gotta be backing down at this point. And usually you don't want to back down on the ship because when you back down, you throw turbulence around the propeller and you start losing control of the vessel. When you start getting cavitation and bubbles around the, the, the rudder, you don't have a lot of control. So you want to be slowing down. And it doesn't appear the ship is slowing down. So you come down to a couple issues and you're going to ask me this. Is it mechanical? It could be mechanical. They may have a problem with backing down the engine. Maybe there's a, there's a mechanical issue. But more than likely, if it's not mechanical, it's human issues. And the question is, is this a human issue? And then if it's a human issue, who is it? Is it the pilot advising the master or is it the master not taking the pilot's advice? Or is there a, a compilation of the two? As you play right here, the tugs are supposed to catch, but man, they are flying by. I, I mean, this ship is going 10 knots into the dock. And again, this is not a small little pleasure boat. This is a vessel over 1,200 feet long. To put that in the context, bigger than an aircraft carrier. And this ship is just coming in way too fast. There is nothing these tugs can do to stop it. And even at this speed, the thrusters and the anchor is not going to work. When you drop your anchor, which they did, they dropped the starboard anchor. We know that because we saw it down. It is just going to skip and you're not going to like do it. But what they do in the movie Battleship where the Missouri like catches the bottom of the ocean and does a kind of like a handbrake turn. That, that doesn't work. It doesn't happen. You'll rip the anchor out. You'll break the chain. That's not going to work. And what you see here is YM Witness just comes in. They have to kind of start that turn. And basically they crash almost into the pier. And that's what slows them down. Uh, it is a crazy approach. So this is where YM Witness is coming in. She's doing 10.7 knots. She is just a few ship lengths away from the pier where it's going to wind up. This is way too fast. The approach is, is, is much too fast. So the question becomes, why so much speed? Is it mechanical? And again, if it was mechanical, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, you can take your engine offline. They drop their anchor. Not exactly clear. Uh, they have to decide which way to go. Do they go to the left here and run up onto the beach, or do they go in and take out the, the dock, and they decide to make the approach? So go ahead and let that run. You'll see them coming in. The tugs are right here, so you're trying to get this one tug just coming on, maybe able to get a line on, but there's no way you're going to lasso this whale of a ship and stop it from hitting the, the, the pier. I mean, it's just too big of a ship to come in. You also have to worry about this other pier with these two ships. So, I mean, you've got to, there's no good win here except to go in at the dock. And that's what they wind up doing. Last minute turn, they hit. That's where the speed starts coming off once they hit the pier. And then the vessel comes basically to a stop. The other tugs get on her at that point and get the vessel under control. 
The ship is Hong Kong registered, so it will be the Hong Kong registry that will be doing the inspection and the, the, the report on this. Obviously, the Turks also will be doing this. Turkey has not had a lot of luck recently. I mean, we had the earthquake and fire in the port of Iskenderun last year. It's going to be a big problem for, obviously, Turkey. Uh, I don't think this was an intentional uh, effort. This looks probably mechanical more than anything else. Uh, they did not get the speed off, so maybe they had a problem coming off, or again, human, that they just did not understand. But again, even if the pilot was unfamiliar with the size and scale of this vessel, the ship's master did. And it, ultimately, it comes down to the ship's master. Ship's master is ultimately responsible. The pilot does not take away responsibility for docking. So, uh, Big catastrophe in the port. Obviously, one person seriously injured. We're hoping the best for them. But just want to give you a quick little update on this incident. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to so be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, and if you can, support the page. Until the next video, Sal, signing off.